Today we are looking at how to adjust the AI or artificial intelligence laden 2021 additions to the Callaway Epic family of drivers, namely the Epic Max and the Max LS, which I have here, and the Epic Speed. Now both or three, all three drivers have the Callaway OptiFit hosel to adjust loft and lie, while the Epic Max and the Max LS, they also have this adjustable sliding weight in the sole here to influence shot shape. Now in the Epic Speed Driver, now well there is no sliding weight, just a weight port with a 5 gram weight in there. Now the eagle eyed of you can see that the adjustment wrench that comes with all these drivers, well that would fit that little 5 gram weight port there and it technically is removable but it's best not to adjust or remove this. It's, this is more for custom fitting environments only for all intents and purposes and for the vast majority of players this little five gram weight in here is absolutely perfect. This epic speed driver well, it has a center of gravity pushed forward in here in the head. It's low spinning it's the fastest driver in the epic lineup. Everything weighting wise basically is optimized with just the OptiFit has a left for you to get dialed in. But let's get back to what we can adjust and let's get cracking on that, shall we? And, but first of all, let's look at the opening and locking mechanisms of the screws in these drivers because if you haven't used it before, to open or loosen any screw in the driver, you basically place the wrench into the top of the screw and you turn it anti clockwise to open and to tighten the screw you just do the opposite you turn it clockwise and all these screws when fully tightened they have a little mechanism it's actually an audible click to let you know that the sleeve is safely locked in place and to avoid over tightening and it sounds like that now in both the epic max and the Epic Max LS or low spin version, you have this sliding weight in the rail here, which runs from the center to the heel of the sole. Now the weight in the track is 17 grams in the Epic Max and it's 13 grams in the Epic Max LS, which I have here. Now you can loosen this weight with the adjustment wrench like this, just like we did already. Let me just loosen it here. And when I have it loose, I can basically move it to any position along the rail. Now you'll notice the rail runs from the center towards the heel. It doesn't run out towards the toe like you've probably seen in other drivers, for instance, like in the Epic Flash model from 2019. So the factory setting is neutral. So the weight is in the back in the center here. There are no notches or markings in the, in the Max or the Max LS, but in this setting, the driver will be at its most stable and forgiving. Now, if we do loosen the weight and say slide it all the way towards the heel here, and just say we just tightened it up, and we clicked it in, this big movement of weight will have the effect of promoting a draw or right to left bias on your drive. So if you struggle with the fade or you want to correct a the slice, then this setting here will help you. Just lock it in with your adjustment wrench, wait for the click and away you go. And from here, back towards the center, you can make that draw bias more subtle or less pronounced just by moving the weight anywhere along here and securing it along the track. So basically, the weight track in Epic Max and Epic Max LS gives you the option of neutral and then a range of draw biases. So that is that. Next, we can adjust loft and lie with the OptiFit hosel. It's exactly the same in all the drivers, but let's use the speed for this version. And before we start, let's look at the markings on the hosel. And you'll see here that this is a nine degree hosel. So below the number nine, there is a little hyphen line there. And at the very bottom of the OptiFit hosel, there's another little hyphen. In between these then you have a top and a bottom cog and these have letters and numbers on them. Now the factory setting is S for stated loft on the lower cog and N for neutral on the upper cog. Now the golden rule when adjusting the OptiFit hosel is to have these little hyphen lines lined up together at all times. So let's go ahead and open the shaft screw, shall we? I usually hold it in my thumb and forefinger, and when it's fully opened, the head 
should be easily removable from the shaft. A couple more turns, and there it is. And when you take off the shaft, you'll notice that on the top and bottom cogs, well, these can turn independently of each other, and these indicate some of the different loft and lie options you can choose. You can actually add up to two degrees of loft, and you can go one degree lower. And then for each loft, you can choose to have N for neutral setting or D for draw setting. Now the key to setting up the OptiFit hosel is to focus on finding your desired loft first. It's quite strange but part of the ingenuity of the hosel that S for stated loft and plus one degrees, well they're on this bottom cog and minus one and plus two degrees, well they're actually marked on the top cog and that's very important. So Let's do a couple of examples. And let's say I just want to hit this driver a little bit higher and bring up the spin a little bit. So if I want to add one degree of loft, well then I would go to the bottom cog. I would find plus one degrees. I would line it up with a little hyphen there. Now holding that in place with one finger, I can now turn the top cog. And it's like a little jigsaw. I see that I have two options I can fit. I can fit N for neutral or D for draw. So just say I choose D for draw. I line up the D and then I reattach the head. Always again making sure the two little hyphens are lined up before I secure the head to the shaft. Let's do another example and if I wanted to flight the ball a little bit lower and reduce spin I can lower the loft by one degree. So again I would just find minus one this time on the top cog line it up with the hyphen and then I can spin the bottom cog to choose neutral or draw again. Again they'll fit together just like a jigsaw. Uh, just say I'll choose neutral, I'll pop the head back on, make sure the hyphens line up, uh, secure it and away we go again. The key to the OptiFit hosel is to choose your loft first. So that is how to adjust your Epic Speed and your Epic Max or Max LS drivers with the Epic Max and the Max LS. We, adver we kind of advise first finding the best setting for you on the weight track at the back here and then dial in your loft and lie with the hosel adjustment. And on the Epic Speed, you can be assured, as I said, that this head is already optimized with the forward CG+. Plus. Then you have the adjustability of the OptiFit hosel. And it's important to remember actually that you can adjust your driver any time on the range before or after your round but just not during it. There's the click. Now if you enjoy this video please do press like and subscribe to the Golf Bitter YouTube channel. It really does help us a lot to make good content like this and remember you can follow us on Golf Bitter Facebook, Twitter and Instagram to keep up to date with the very latest. For me for now though it's Donal out.